What's up guys, in this video we're gonna talk about how to append data to a file using FS module in Node.js. So let's first see how to do it synchronously and then we will see how to do it asynchronously. So here we are first requiring the FS module and then we are using append file sync function that will append this text at the end of file.txt and that will happen synchronously and later we are appending another line to the same file uh, file.txt so let me just delete uh, this file first and let's execute this uh, sync.js so let's change the directory and clear out and execute sync.js so when we execute this first it will write line 1 and the new line character so line 2 will be in the next line so it should have line 1 and then line 2 after execution so let's execute that so it created a new file file.txt because it was not already there and it wrote line 1 and then the new line character and then the line 2 so this is how we can append data to a file using append file uh, function now this is synchronous one we will see the asynchronous one and the difference between appending data to a file and writing data to a file is write will delete the content uh, if the file already present while append will preserve the content of the file so if I just comment these lines and uncomment this lines so in this case we are uh, writing the content we are not appending that so the difference is so let me just delete that file first now if we execute this it will first write line 1 to file.txt and when we uh, when it tries to write this line 2 it will first delete the content of file.txt so line 1 uh, will be deleted from file.txt and then it will write line 2 so after executing this file now there will be just one line in file.txt which will be line 2 so let's just execute this so node sync.js and you will see there will be just one line that is line 2 so that's the difference between uh, appending data to a file and writing data to a file and a couple of important things again to note about append is uh, the default encoding is utf8 so even though we haven't specified the default encoding and it will be utf8 by default and if the file is not present already it will create that file and then write the text as was the case while using write file and if it's already present it will just append the file append the text at the end of the file and let's now see how to do it asynchronously so we have append file function in the fs module so here we are appending uh, text to a file using append file which is asynchronous so in the previous case we did it append file sync here we are using append file function so it takes a callback so here we are appending this text to file.txt and if any error happens we will console.log dot that error and if and no error happens we append another line to that file.txt so at the end of the this execution execution of this program it will have two lines which is line 1 and line 2 the only difference is here we are using the asynchronous version and in the previous case we were using the synchronous version so let's execute this file so let's not delete this file so this is line 2 uh, so this file.txt is already present and there is one line which is line 2 in that file so if I execute this file now it will append line 1 and line 2 so here what will happen is it will append line 1 here and then the new line character then again line 2 so let's execute this file and see that so node in this case it is async.js and if you see this you it appended line 1 and then the new line character and then the line 2 
so this is what uh, append does and this is how you can do it uh, using synchronous function and asynchronous function so in the next one we will talk about how to rename file and delete file using fs module in node.js